All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. I'm Captain Beefy with the Game Vault here today, and you're about to witness a magic trick. Come on. Come on. Weird st Oh, wait. There it is. A building just appeared. There's our little overseer's office. Okay. So you got your settlement, right? How's it working out for you so far? I got mine, and let me tell you, it's an immense pain in the ass. But it seems like every time I come here, there's a bunch of sentinels attacking, or these guys have some kind of aggravating dispute I have to deal with. As you can see, I've got an expedition that's gotten out. It's eight minutes out. You know, and our status... Oh, we have a construction opportunity. <coughs> Excuse me, our status right now is still to sea level 32 citizens. 24% happiness and 131 productivity versus 111 maintenance cost. We were out of debt, but we're back in it. Hey, that's what life's all about, right? Wow, some thunder rolling outside. If you hear that in the background, it is not the game. Okay. So some interesting things have happened, but let's take a look at this opportunity first here. So. Generator room or a landing pad? Well, this is kind of a no-brainer. They both add to productivity. And the landing pad has slightly more approval rating, so we're going to go with that. That's a significant amount of productivity compared to the other one, so that's fantastic. All right, so we'll let that construction begin. So, what was interesting was during one of the Sentinel attacks, we received this, an undamaged drone shell. As you can see, it says the shell of a Sentinel drone. All that remains after its destruction in combat, while the exterior is physically intact, its internals have been severely burned, given the right tools and several exotic components, it may be possible to repair it. This is not a throwaway or sellable item. As you can see, there's no price to it or anything like that. Uh, we can't break it down or anything. So, that's kind of funky, huh? So, it did prompt us to head on up to uh, the Anomaly. And we got to go uh, talk to our little fish face fella up there. Oh, look at that. Our ship landed right where it's going to be. All right. Oh, well, we may as well... Yeah, before we move on, let's put the parts in here that need to start building this. Of course, it's way on the far side, right? All right, here's your chromatic metal. So yeah, by the time we head up to the anomaly and come back, that expedition should be done. Maybe we'll have a result on it and see what's up. But in the meantime, we're going to head up to the anomaly. I'll show you just who we have to talk to on this. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Like I said, the settlements, you know, they're cool. I would love to see these things expanded on in the future. Owning more than one settlement would be kind of neat, kind of cool. Although, you know, in the beginning, they're kind of high maintenance for the first few days until you get everything going. And then, uh, you know, like on my main character, I basically forgot about it. I go there every now and then and collect a crap ton of... Uh, stuff. Oh, that guy's stuck. You alright, buddy? Hey, can you see me? Land. Alright. Um, yeah, so after a while, you just kind of ignore it. Oops, I'm stuck in that thing. Derp. So we got a little guy to talk to. And I can't remember his name. He was at a T. That's not him. He's up here. He's up near the uh, um, big teleporter here. Hey, this is him. Tethys. Okay, hey, buddy. He's an ugly bugger. have our little conversation with them, describe the new sentinels, because they aren't like the ones you see on the regular planet surface.
And yep, we'll show him the drone shell. Cool, let's do that. All right, so we have a new mission, a trace of metal. There it is. So we need something on it. Okay, well, that's what we just did. Components gathered. Ah, zero three. So we have to speak to other dudes around here. Ouch. Okay, not. I don't remember. I did this on my main character, but um. Ah, here we go. All right, he gave us a collector. Okay. Well, I got one of the items already. I don't know if the first three guys you talk to give it to you or what. Or if it's just certain ones, so we'll find out together. Let's talk to Polo here. Take these beads. All right, he gave us some some beads. Hopefully, I don't know where he had them hidden, but hopefully they're not that kind of bean, bead. Yeah, alright, he doesn't tell us anything, but I remember this fellow was down here, right? Woohoo! Whoops. Yeah, let's go talk to this ugly guy. Ugh. Ariadne. Okay. Explain the plan. Oh, he doesn't have anything, so so far we've got two. I bet you these two goofballs over here, one of them has it. Yeah, look, we have the little sentinel thing over him. Okay, I didn't notice that earlier. All right, Gemini. Here's the plan. Nanite filament. All right, so we have got the stuff to fix this sentinel up, and I can't believe uh, can't believe it's going to be that easy. I have a feeling we're going to run into a hitch here, but let's check it out. Here's the stuff, my friend. Oh, come on. All right, so I have to take it for a field test. Sentinel flare off to select the device and use activate flare to signal the drone. Okay. So there's the sentinel flare and it's off. But I don't believe I can. Okay, well it's activated, but yeah, it doesn't show up in here. Alright, my friends, what do I need to do? Probably go down to the planet surface. Maybe we'll head back to... Yeah, return to our settlement. Let's do that. Our mission should be back here anytime. Yeah, I renamed it most nicely. I know that's very original. Probably the only person in this entire game that named their uh, settlement that. If you don't get the reference, My God, shame on you! Oh, there he is. That's our sentinel. Fault detected. Reverting. I have a higher processing disabled. Glass, 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 glass. 
Uh, let us flush the cash. I guess we can't do that. Ah, so it's going to force us to go to a sentinel pillar. Which we can see is way over there. Alright, cool. So we have a destination. Let's go get our... Where was our ship? There it is. Back here being constructed and or being worked on in the pad here. Two citizens have left my settlement. What the hell? Ah The mission ended in disaster. That sucks. Alright. I wanna build up the citizens, not lose them. Alright, so we'll go up out of the atmosphere. That will greatly shorten our time to get here. We'll go from 57 seconds to... Just a few. I don't know why it's not showing up, but it's not. Sentinel pillar, you see it right there, nice and red. These things are kind of cool. I'm gonna land up here. I see one of their guys walking around already. Just kind of chilling out. Our sentinel looks like he's eager to get reunited with his family. It's like, hey, it's Steve. Jeff, what's going on? Bob, is that you? Alright. So we've got something here. Let's interact with it. This is our boundary archive terminal. Boundary node is secure. So we have to destroy these nodes. No problem. Damn the repercussions. Oh, you little healer. There you go. Is our guy fighting? Yeah, I don't think he fights. Big guy. Alright, can we activate it now? Now it's vulnerable. Let's do it. Let's permit the integration to continue. Let's download the hard frame. Sentinel hard frame schematics. Sentinel hard frame right arm. A collection of salvage components from a Sentinel hard frame reconditioned to fit the Minotaur heavy exocraft hybrid. This limb override also functions as its own dedicated combat system. It deploys high velocity stun projectiles and serves as an excellent support weapon in the Minotaur's primary cannon. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's remote purge here. So normally you can get a gun from these things. So let's shut down the forces on the planet. And let's see if we can get a nice exotic weapon from here. That would be kind of cool. Hmm. 
Nah, that's nothing impressive. All right. Access the logs? What the hell? Why not? Alright, return to main controls. Let's get out of here and see what's next. So can we bring that guy down? We can. What's up, Minotaur? So can we install? Yeah, we can. Look at that. Darn. All right, he has got a cool right arm. Nifty. Oh, okay, we need to look at our drone now. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's give it a friendly greeting. We built this guy. Oh. did that. Let's give it a minute to catch up and we'll see what we have to do next. Drone broadcast detected, embedded call sign the sentry. I guess we gotta talk to him again because we installed that. Wait a minute. Oh, look, a cute animal. All right, I won't do it. So we have to go monitor our settlement now. Looks like the Sentinels are attacking it. Probably a little pissed at me. They're taking down their pillar, but I thought I deactivated them on the planet. What the hell, guys? Not cool. Those things are creepy. All right. So yeah. Oh, I don't know if I ever mentioned this, but how I got that Sentinel drone shell or whatever is I got it when defending uh, my settlement at one point in time. There was a couple couple times that uh, I showed up there just to settle disputes and all that other little bit of nonsense. And um, Sentinels were attacking, so I took them down. And at one point in time, I got a message about having to investigate the battlefield and I took down one of the sentinels and that shell appeared in my inventory so that's how I acquired it so if you're wondering about that it looks like you have to get a settlement all right can we land um, so that you can get a sentinel one leads to the other apparently and if I remember correctly from my main playthrough it was the same way then. So they want to talk to me in my office? All right. All right. We got an urgent meeting. I'm coming. I'm a coming. Yeah, I like putting that wire thing up there because it shows me where my office is. So I'm meeting. It's just this dude. He just wants money. Let me freaking Ed the Wino. Oh, maybe here. Okay, here we go. Citizens have grown curious. They note the sudden and traumatic appearance of the Sentinel hard frames, and that the Overseer appears to be accompanied by a rogue drone. We'll reassure them. Um, let's send them to a monolith. What? No? Didn't like that, huh? Let's look at our status. Look at that. Down 30 citizens now. <laughs> All right. It is what it is. 
So, our sentinel flare is still there. We got a little bit of glass we can break down into various things. Um, and he wants us to talk to him. Where is he? It's right over here. Are you stuck in the water tower, dude? I'll work on your AI uh, pathing. Alright, so we're gonna have to go and, uh, looks like find a new location, so, yeah, I'm gonna cut right here and we'll pick it up when we get to where we need to go. Alright, well, we just arrived in a new system and we're under attack, not sure if that's related or not, start a recording just in case it was. This is not a normal thing, so I assume it is. Alright, dude, come on. There you go. Alright, scrambled coordinates received, and it looks like they're over this way. Right on this planet. Oh, and there's a uh, trading post there. Cool. Let's head on down there. This is a system we've been to before. I think I might even have a base here. I don't remember. It was very close by the system we were in. Excuse me. So we didn't have to do multiple jumps or anything like that. I'm assuming this is the building. Whenever they give you approximate coordinates, it's always good to kind of recon the area a little bit just to see yeah this is it yeah it's good to recon the area just to see if there's a building in the area that might <coughs> excuse me be uh, what you're looking for so this has got one of those three and four stores no problem with the scatter blaster. And we got the planetary manufacturing facility. Let's open it up. Uh, let's give in. What the hell? Very dramatic. sentinels in here but they won't attack when you're inside which is cool essentially they don't even see me and we got hard frame blueprints okay sentinel hard frame left arm a neural upgrade packet. Expect the drone to see the results. Well, you're not my drone, dude. Where's my little friend? Here he is. Come here, buddy. We're going to have to name the drone. Where's he going? What are you doing, dude? Hey, come back here. There we go. Feeling better, feel fresh. Greetings, Telemon. So, let's bring our Minotaur back down. We got that arm, and I think we got something else we can uh, install on it, right? 
Oh, just the arm. Okay. I well, got the ability to put all that stuff in there. And that's it. At least for the moment. The Citizen Sentinel Hunt team has returned. Do I need to talk to you again, buddy? Laylapse is his name. Okay. So is that it? Let me get inside this Minotaur and see if uh see how it works. Kind of curious. Let's see if that triggers anything. appear to. Alright, he's happy. Let's go back to our log, a trace of metal. Oh, okay, so that's the thing. We have to go debrief our away team. So we'll go do that real quick. I have been running around between uh, videos and collecting a couple more of the uh, whale frigates. Eventually we'll replace all the basic ones with 100% whales. Not something I've been doing a ton of, but I have been doing some. And I also have been working on farming the uh, mods for the freighter. So I have a freighter now that is just, it's gross. And we'll take a look at it set up a little later on uh, once I finish outfitting it. But man... It's a blast so far. All right, back to the settlement. Are we going to have to fight again? Probably. Most nicely. Here we come. Yeah, this was uh, a bit of a surprise. Like, I had gotten away from the game for a while, as I do with this game. I'll play it for a bit and do all the new stuff and then set it aside and pick it up a few months later or a year later, you know, and reinstall it. And go, oh, wow, this was so much fun, you know. Half the time I want to start a new character, um, which I did this time because the last time I played this, I think, was on the PlayStation 4. Or no, I did have one character on here, but um, I ended up starting a new character just for making videos. All right. But I did keep my old character, and I was glad I did it this time, because I usually would just delete it. Then I had to start a new character for the uh, missions, you know, the... That was fun. Let's see what happens here. I'll debrief the expedition. Either way, we get the same thing, Sentinel hard frame leg plans. Well, let's thank him. So, if we release the explorers, we get creeping, spreading glass, which is positive. If we quarantine them, we get quarantined explorers, which I don't know. Hmm. Let's quarantine them. He didn't look happy about that. Alright, I want to see what that did. Quarantine Explorers gives us a Cognito Hazard Containment Facility. Okay. Whatever that does. So I'm guessing, didn't we have a hard frame? Or did I give that to, yeah, I gave that to the guy on the uh, anomaly. No more combat needs to be done. Where's our guy? There he is. We need to talk to you. Come here. Don't be a pain in the butt. And he's ornery. 
Come on, I will shoot you. Yeah, yeah, lay laps, okay. All right, so we need to begin. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get our Minotaur back here. Maybe once we are working on constructing him, it'll tell us how to get that hard frame engine. Yeah? Looks cool with the arms. It says the, okay, the legs were gotten by the expedition. All right, well, now what? What do we do now? All right, gotta do that. A few installation details. Try to install it, but we can't. I can pin the details though. Let's see, log for details. Harvest hard suit engines from the remains of Sentinel hard frame units. A combat exo mech deployed at high alert levels collect items from defeated Sentinels by destroying combat supply barrels. Ah, okay, so I'm going to have to go kill one of those mech-looking guys again. Fair enough. Let's start a fight. Nice try, baby. That's right, let's get one of those guys out of here. I don't know what that sentinel does. It doesn't seem like he attacks anything. There we go. Let's pop you off. And you. Don't need you healing, dudes. I thought we had another healer in here. Yep, there he is. Done. Yeah, I think we got one more sentinel, right? And he's down. And he's down. Tell you what, sentinels. <coughs> When I first played the game, there were nothing to be messed with. I think this little batch that these three-eyed ones are easier to deal with than the regular ones you find on the planet, but um, I don't know. Alright, reinforcements. We're up to level three. Is that going to bring us one of those big guys? Let's hope so. Wait, buddy. Is there no one else? I right, got another one of those stupid summoners there. Those triangle ones summon other sentinels. So they should always be focused on Unless you're looking to farm a bunch of sentinel parts and you want to let them live. Unless they'll keep bringing you cannon fodder. Good night, Irene. I hear another one. I think it's mine. Yep. 
All right, there's got to be something else here. Come on, bring me another round. They're searching. And I am detected. But where are they? I do not see them anywhere. He's stuck between buildings. I'm wrecking havoc in my city here now. Alright, well I'm going to continue fighting and I'll come back once I get that hard frame. Alright, so I went and found a sentinel pillar and killed a ton of sentinels including a few of the bigger guys that look kind of like the minotaur outfit. And they keep dropping these combat supplies that says hard frame engine, but I was shooting them and I was getting bullets instead of a hard frame engine. So if you kill one of those, don't shoot that thing that it drops. Just pick it up and you'll get the hard frame engine. And another thing I did, after I killed a ton of them, I reloaded the game because it finally occurred to me like, oh, maybe I'm doing something wrong. And I reloaded and I went right into here and I just deactivated the sentinels when I saw that guy was there and he immediately disappeared and dropped that so that made it a lot easier so let's go ahead and finish the installation process here that's done the legs are done and he's cool and blue like his buddy over there looking pretty solid so far right Oh, sorry about that little animal guy. Oh, okay. The sentry is broadcasting. All right, well, let's talk to our sentry again. I'm sorry, am I misusing the power, buddy? gonna have to name this guy. Laylaps. Play. Okay. We'll say hello to you, buddy. I'm wondering if that was like a, a jumbled up word there. So we're going to need the brain of a walker, bring it to the anomaly, and bring it to Tethys. Well, I already have walker brains, I believe. Paralysis mortar. A non-violent projectile weapon launch projectiles will incapacitate nearby targets with a burst of electrical energy. Effective against both biological and electronic entities. Is that something that goes into him? No, apparently not. But, pretty sure we have walker brains, right? Oh, yeah. Let's grab one. And we'll make a couple hermetic seals anyway. And install that piece of equipment just because we can. So we've got a walker over there. Alright, so we're going to get rid of the solar ray. So we obviously don't need that anymore. Let's install the... That puppy there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Oh! And we need, what is it, the unstable...
It's the green one, I think. Unstable plasma, which will require metal plating. Let's go ahead and make two metal platings and two unstable pl plasmas. I'm sure I have a couple on my freighter, but you know, what the hell, we'll make it for now. All right, I'll catch up with you when we find the walker. All right, so we got a walker brain here, it looks like. Ah, pristine brain. Okay, so it's different than the normal one. So we had a walker, we had to track it down. It was on another planet, obviously. And I used that new weapon to stun it a few times. It made it just kind of stand there freaking out while I uh, blew it apart with the scatter blaster. And, you know, that was that. So it has to be disconnected from the Sentinel. All right, so we have to go back to the Anomaly. I'll see you there. All right, well, we are back on the Anomaly, and it looks like I'm not the only one doing this mission right now, huh? All right, Tethys. Tethys, whatever your name is. Yep, I'm alive. Yes, yes, it's doing well. I'm just going to say it's doing well. The name's going to be between me and it. All right. So much for that. Yeah. You should have seen those beads. I'm glad I cleaned them off. Here's the pristine brain. Okay. He's working on it. Bingo, bango, bongo. So I have a Sentinel hard frame body, a Minotaur core replacement. Interesting. All right, so I need a Radiant Brain. How do I get that? Ah, uh, there's always something else. Always something else. My friend, you. All right, we're gonna go into space and see what that is. <sighs> and we'll be back. So we engaged our pulse drive, and then we got a reading. And here we go. Let's see what's up with this thing, the Messenger of Atlas. Here's the hacked brain. We're getting uncomfortably close. And we got the radiant brain. And a messenger of Atlas. Okay. Is that it then? Can I finally... I want to shoot it, but I won't. Yes, I can install the hard frame body. Woohoo. All right, let's get back to base and do that. All right, so we've made it back to our settlement, and it's time to install the hard frame body. We do have the antimatter already. Life support gel is a go, and the radiant brain. Cool. So that's done. Hard frame body is installed. It's a collection of salvage components from a Sentinel hard frame, reconditioned to fit the Minotaur Heavy Exocraft Hybrid. Will function as a semi-autonomous artificial pilot plug-in installation. Allows the Minotaur to traverse planets itself and engage in combat or mining activities to support its primary operator. The AI pilot will always cede control to the primary operator when they enter the cockpit. That's my dude now, huh? Hey, he's following me around. Will he fly too? Alright, whoa. Our little sentry guy wants to talk to us again. 
Come here, Laylas, or whatever your name is. Legolas. Come here. Come on, stop running. Come on, don't be a pain. Ah. Oh. He's like a freaking little pet terrier. He runs away when you chase him. Come on, dude. It's so rocky and crappy here. Ugh. All right. Laylaps. They can choose. I'm so glad you agreed to help Telemon, not Telemon. Let's run a diagnostic. Well, looks like we got one more thing to do, huh? I'll see you there. All right, well, this is where the sentry sent us. It looks like a real crappy place. It's an approximate location. Let's do a scan. There's a building right over here, which is probably... Yep, there's the Sentinel Pillar. All right, let's prep it up and do it. Hot and gross here. That's awesome. Gotta love the hot, gross planets. Let's get our Minotaur in. And the pillar is right down here, right? Yep. Alright, so I imagine we're going to have to destroy these nodes. There's one down. There's two down. There's three down. I don't know if our Minotaur is engaging or not, but... I feel like he's engaging. Let's see if I even need to do all this or if I can just shut it down. I probably can't. There we go. Let's get that fixed up. Alright, yeah. Not yet. Going down, big guy. Get out of my way, Minotaur. What else? There we go. Oh, I see you. Oh, good. The storm's finally clearing. How nice is that? Come here, you. Like a mosquito. God. Is there another one around? Yeah, there is. Where is he? Node is open. Let's do it, buddy. Let's wipe your memory away. The 
severance packet is done. Goodbye, Laylaps. All right, cool. While we're at it, Let's see if it's got a nice gun. That's got a piece of crap too. Let's talk to our buddy here. He should be quite happy. Yeah. We have done well. And the mission is complete. Is that it for this whole arc? Drone friend Captain Beefy fully reassembled a loyal drone. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining me for another episode of No Man's Sky. As always, I'm Captain Beefy here today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell for notifications. That way you know every time a new video drops. And if you found this useful at all, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the video. And a like is always appreciated, as well as sharing us on social media. I will see you next time.